What happens if a professional MMA fighter like my brother Oliver switches life with a professional karate nerd? Let's find out. This will be interesting. Good luck. See you this evening. So I haven't trained karate since I was a teenager. I still hope I remember how to tie the belt. Looks like Jesse put a video up for me. In the mornings, I love to practice kata. So now you're gonna learn the kata used by the Olympic gold medalist from Japan. And this evening, you're gonna teach it in class. But first, warm up with some traditional strength training tools from Okinawa. Yeah, yeah. Looks like a jar of protein powder to me. Am I supposed to grab these? Oh, I've seen this before. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to use them, but it feels pretty good. It's like it's a good tool for your forearm. Let's try the jars instead. This is probably not what Jesse is using them for. These are called burpees, Okinawa style. Yeah! I wonder what Jesse is doing. I am in a tunnel somewhere, going to a secret location where Oliver apparently practices MMA. Right, should be here somewhere. It is so cold outside. Now it's time to watch Oliver's instructions. Today you're gonna train with my head coach Omar Boy. It's a striking class. All right, striking class. Pay close attention because this evening you're also teaching my MMA class. So, good luck. This is exactly what I imagine an MMA gym to look like. A dark dungeon. I'm literally expecting a dragon to be down here guarding his money. There are two types of people who wear shirts with their own names on them. Rock stars and psychopaths. And apparently, MMA fighters. I'm excited. <laughs> and, and a little bit scared. The class has barely started and I'm already making mistakes. And they're not really explaining things because this is an advanced class for pro fighters, not newbies like me. Performing these is one thing, but I also have to memorize everything because tonight I'm gonna teach this. I'm trying to focus in on all the details. Which foot goes first, which hand goes first, open or closed fists. And I want to make it as detailed as possible when I teach it later this evening. I'm thinking about the practical applications to some of the techniques. Locks. Jesse makes it look easy on the computer screen, but then again, he's been in two national teams and competed in the world championships and stuff. So believe me, it's harder than it looks. I can't believe I'm gonna teach this tonight. Okay, everything just looked like this to me. So let's see how this goes. At this point, we've done like 50 different exercises and I'm never gonna be able to remember all of them. So I'm focusing on remembering five or six of them that I can teach later this evening. My leg is hurting so bad from all these kicks. I would love to see the old Japanese master who actually pulled this off in a real fight. I can see this kata is very different from the ones I did when I was younger. So a lot of new moves that I'm not familiar with. Same move, and then this little sneaky bastard to the ribs. One, two, and then punch. Now I just need to practice, practice, and remember. Okay, so now we're doing sparring. And luckily I have big gloves, so I'm well protected. Luckily, everybody are very patient and understanding with me. I am done. I don't have the physical capacity to just push like this for two hours. I got lactic acid in every muscle of my body. I can't see myself doing this on a daily basis. Guess I just like my brain cells too much. Workout complete, if you can call it a workout. I know Jesse's a health nut. I wonder what Jesse thinks of my food. What the heck? It smells like fart. This looks like dog poop. Let's see what's next. After lunch, I love to take an ice bath. So grab your swimming trunks and head to the lake. Focus on your breathing. And it's not about controlling your emotions, but rather to not let your emotions 
control you. It's almost time for lunch, but before that... I already had lunch, okay? So I've already messed up. <laughs> take my dog Izzy out for a walk. There's a big hill right next to my house, so you can just put a leash on and follow her. So I'm going hill sprinting with Oliver's dog Izzy. Here's the frozen lake. Ice cold. Is this really what Jesse does? <sighs> Don't escape now. Izzy, Izzy, Izzy. Come here, this is for you. Izzy, Izzy. Come here. This is for you. Now we're ready to go for a run. Right, here we go. It's all in the head. And in the body, a lot. A secret, I don't know if Jesse knows, but you can pee to keep yourself warm. Yeah. This is the killer hill where Oliver does his sprints. And now, it's time for me. The karate nerd has arrived. Now it's my turn to teach this kata to the students. We're starting with a simple warm up to get the blood flowing and also the brain working. Meanwhile, I'm downstairs with the MMA class. Things are not going like expected. They're not picking things up as quickly as I did this morning. But then again, they're not professional fighters and neither am I. So I need to use some karate teaching methods. I don't know who feels more awkward in this position, me trying to show these karate moves in my gi, or the students that are used to see me in the cage with a mouth guard and two MMA gloves. Okay. Yeah, nice. Instead of just teaching them the whole choreography, we're just picking out one part and we try that out with a partner so they know what they're doing. Then we take the next part and so on and so forth until we get to the end. Cross. Cross. I ask everyone to face the mirror and we start punching, blocking, ducking and dodging solo. And then we reintroduce the training partner. Yes! By removing the partner, we get rid of a distraction, which means that everyone can focus on their own body mechanics, and suddenly, everything makes sense. Yes, yes. This is the last technique of the kata, and I want them to use their imagination all by themselves, so I didn't show any example of what the technique could have been. I don't think like you have to make it too advanced. What you see is what you get a lot of times, but there's also this saying, a block is a lock, is a blow is a throw. I don't think the students will remember the whole kata and all the applications in one training session, but I'm trying to give them a framework to think when they learn a new set of movement patterns. That is, what's the practical application to this and visualizing their opponent straight away when they're doing the techniques in thin air. That was actually really fun for me. But right now, I just want to get out of this gi and back into the cage. At this point, I can sense that people are overwhelmed, just like I was this morning. So I decide to just hold back on a couple of more exercises and go straight into sparring. There once was a ship that put to sea The name of the ship was a belly of tea The winds blew up her bow up down up below my bully boys blow They actually gave me a round of applause and I don't think they've ever done that for Oliver. So that probably means I'm a better teacher than him. Actually, I just think they were happy the class was finally over. You're just jealous because your dog loves me more than you. <laughs>